ngira dufite hagije ibiryo ntibabizanye kapiteri nta telefone it's infected i warned you you insist on running around the jungle i am sure that you have something among your portions to treat it what is that i distilled it from katala root it's a natural antibiotic you are truly gifted doctor Holmes. very valuable to us you've made your decision I've considered your request, but you are needed here. You have taken five years of my life. Is it not your duty as a physician to care for those who are in need? I am not just a physician. I'm somebody's wife, somebody's mother. Government surveillance. My apologies, Dr. Holmes. To the holder of this letter, my commendations. Solving the puzzle of the chest required more than considerable deductive powers. My work has consumed my life, and I have produced no heir to follow in my path. But I picture you, a young man of good imagination. Any mystery devised by mortal minds can be solved therewith. Yours faithfully, Sherlock Holmes. How can you be certain Joanna is responsible? Mum, for the first time in five years, I feel it's not impossible. What's impossible? Having a private conversation around here. What's that? Reasons why I should be allowed to go to Rwanda with you. Shirley. Number one. I'm the one who discovered the real identity of Pierre Caribanda. Shirley. Number two, this is my mother we're talking about. And number three... Thanks, Dad. You're going on condition that you do exactly what I say at all times. Pierre is taking us directly from the airport to the hospital. There's a patient there he wants us to meet. Shirley, we both want to believe we'll find Mum. But if we don't... Dad, worrying if we're wrong won't help Mum. Out of the mouths of babes. Who are you calling a babe? The church compound where you will be staying is a part of the hospital. Yeah, th this boy you want us to meet. Uh, he was one of the first children at the mine to become ill. When I obtained permission to monitor conditions there, I persuaded the mine boss to let me bring him back to the hospital. It was in his blood sample that the doctors discovered evidence of an anti-serum. Have you been back to the mine since you left? No. The military has put Martin Tibo on the quarantine. No one is allowed in or out without permission. Why would they declare quarantine after the treatment was found? I mean, what are they hiding? You must understand that questions can be dangerous here. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Listen to Pierre. Who did it his
Major Bikunda is very powerful. It is he who ordered the blockade at Mountain Tibo. But the boy told you soldiers gave him the medicine. Soldiers from the jungle. During the war, many rebels fled to the countryside. Mount Tibo would make a perfect refuge. Why? The area is known as a Baluing, a place haunted by evil spirits. No one would choose to go there. Until Ned Crawford opened his mind. Dear old Ned did unleash an evil spirit. Tebow fever. Not just Ned. What if a rebel group hid in Mount Tebow for five years and got sick with Tebow fever just like the workers from the mine did? Surely. Dad, they'd need a doctor. Do you realize how many hours it takes to distill a single ounce of this stuff? <laughs> Colonel? Dr. Holmes, I ordered the fire extinguished. The government troops are too close. If they see the smoke... There are children at the mine who could die. It is because I agreed to supply the children with medicine that the government knows that we are here. It was the right thing to do. There is only one right thing for me to do. And that is to ensure the survival of my men. <sighs> no, I must see Major Bakunda today. Dad. Because I need permission to travel to Mount Tebow. Dad. You see, the, uh, the thing is, I uh, have some information that might be of interest to the Major. Information about a rebel group? Dad! Yes. I can be there immediately. Well, that got their interest. I think I found another way. Pierre says the military barricade was here. There's another road. Shirley, that could be no more than a dirt track. We just need a better map. Robert, the jeep is ready. Thanks, Pierre. Shall we? But, Dad... You stay put. Mount Tebow area. Moosh has the best map. Only 20 francs. Payment in advance. Yves Carita! Yves Carita! Yves Carita! This is my map. How did you find me? The top flap isn't as sun bleached as the rest. Obviously, it had just been disturbed. You are crazy! Nobody wants to go to Mount Tebow. I do. How much are you willing to pay in advance? <laughs> This is not enough. Why? <laughs> this is silver. Mr. Holmes. I was told you had information of interest to us. Uh, I have reason to believe there may be a rebel force on Mount Tebow. Where? How many? You have nothing but vague gossip. 
Major. All I'm asking is permission for my friend and myself to travel to you the... You interrupt me to tell me a jeep has been stolen in the marketplace? Find it! Major, if I may... I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. Permission is denied. I promise you. I'll pull every string there is to pull. We will get past that barricade. Hello? Hello, operator. Shirley? Robert. Gone to the marketplace. The, the Jeep. Jeep. Alright, so what's the plan? How do we get past them? Moose, you do have a plan, don't you? A plan costs extra. They're going to work in the mine, aren't they? They are crazy. Mount Tibu is bad. Everybody there gets Tibu fever. Why do you come here? I have my reasons. <coughs> Excuse me, do you know this woman? Uramuzi. Ask her who brought them the treatment for Tibo fever. Nidi Wuzami Umote Wa Tibo. Nyandwi. Colonel Nyandwi's men. But he was killed in the war. Ask her to tell me where Colonel Nyandwi's men are. Are you crazy? If Nyandwi is alive, he is. That's why Major Bakunda declared a quarantine. They should be Kunda? To seal off the area so they could hide him down. But I have to get to him first. Why? Because he has my mother. <laughs> We must move camp. Your equipment must be left behind. If it stays, I stay. Not with everything you know about this. Here! We're right here! You are crazy. You cannot go up into the mountain alone. Watch me. Shirley, Moose will take you. For payment in advance. I have nothing left to pay you with. Okay. I will give you credit. Just this once. Harhusufite. He refuses to let us pass without a written permission from Major Bikunda. Follow my lead. Now, see here, mate. My name is Ned Crawford, and my ruby mine is up that road. Mr. Crawford has many friends in the highest levels of the government. They will not be pleased to hear he has been delayed. Uh, go ahead. Call the president's office. 
And be sure to say hello for me. Is everyone in your family like this? Apparently. This trail was used recently. Oh, evil spirits. Could be a ruse. Designed to frighten strangers away. They were here! Dead cold. They could have left days ago. It's a tent peg. This earth was disturbed within the past few hours. Shirley! This is your mother, no? There's blood on it. That doesn't mean anything. But she could already be dead. You don't know that. Since the war, everybody's dead. My mother and father are dead. All my brothers and sisters. That might be them. You think you're special? You think they will kill you too? And me because I'm with you? Why don't you go back? No, you listen to me. You come. Go. It's my choice to go on. Colonel, Shirley doesn't know anything about your operation. I beg you, let her go. I'm not going anywhere without you. She has your stubbornness.
Thank you, Dr. Holmes. Moosh, where did Shirley go from here? I do not know. She will not listen. I left her here. Look, this is very important. Robert, the boy has reason to be afraid. Moosh, try to think. Over here, Mom. This way. Shirley! Do you know how long we have been looking for you? Shirley. And that is how my mother finally came home. Colonel Neandwi and his men were never captured. Mom suspects they're still in the mountains, on the run. Pierre is working to help improve conditions at the mining camp. And as for Moosh, Pierre got him a job at the hospital. The only problem is, he keeps asking the patients for payment in advance. Bo, it's me. You know those jewelry store heists? All those stores are on the same garbage truck route. Coincidence? I think not. Give me the dump, okay? Hey, where are you off to in such a hurry? Uh, I'm meeting Bo. Where are you going? Just around. When are you coming home? Later. <laughs> Surely. I think this is where I'm supposed to insist that you tell me where you're going and for how long. I'll be fine, Mom. When I left, you were only eight years old. Well, I've learned to take care of myself. I know you have. Whenever I was scared, I'd think of you. But how strong you are. And it would always get me through. It's funny. Thinking about you got me through, too. Go. Meet your friend. But remember, it's a jungle out there. Love you, Mom.